Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is one that is going to be pure comedy. Pure comedy because when a woke person gets exposed, all you can do is laugh. So this is a video clip that I came across of Pierce Morgan interviewing a little person named Dylan who used to be in the WWE who played a character called Hornswoggle. If you guys grew up on a WWE like I have, you know exactly who I'm talking about. So Dylan was being interviewed by Pierce Morgan and also another young man named James Barr who is an LGBTQ activist. And they were discussing the whole Snow White slash Snow Brown scandal where the new remake only has one dwarf as the seven dwarves and six average sized people. And they were talking about how is this okay? Is this progression or is this just foolishness and wokeness gone mad? It was a great topic, a great discussion and pure comedy. So without further ado, let's react to this video together and discuss it, break it down and um, get ready to laugh. Well, joining me is Dylan Posel, who played Hornswoggle, the leprechaun in WWE between 2006 and 2016, and by the podcaster and commentator James Barr. All right, uh, James, you've got a, no problem with what Disney are doing. You think this is progressive and inclusive and all those moaning about it should shut up. I think you should live in the 1930s, actually, Piers, because that's where you belong, really, listening to what you were just saying then. Also, I'm going to quote Warwick Davis because he said he finds it patronising when people are offended on his behalf. Mm -hmm. And you've just spent a five-minute monologue being offended on his behalf. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did this wokey just say <laughs> that people shouldn't be offended on other people's behalf? Really? Now, something tells me that this white liberal gay guy probably has been offended for every other marginalized group his entire life. I'm gonna just guesstimate that that's probably what he does on a daily basis. He's offended for Hispanics, for BLM, trans people, women, for any group, he's offended. But yet, he starts the conversation by saying, Pierce, you shouldn't be offended for little people in regards to Snow White because it's none of your business. Something tells me he's gonna have to eat those words. Let's keep watching. And I think that's ridiculous. Why don't we bring in Dylan? Because Dylan uh, is also offended and he happens to be a dwarf actor. Dylan, I've got to say, I, I was very curious when I saw what Peter Dinklage came out and said, because I did wonder who appointed him the head of the dwarf actor community. And it turns out nobody did other than him. And the people who it seems to me have really suffered in all this are the six dwarf actors who would have expected to have roles in this remake in a massive Hollywood blockbuster who are now not going to have that experience, all the money, all the fame that may have come with that. What is your response to that? So it's not a progression at all to me. My issue with it is exactly what you said. There are actors, dwarf actors, that live, that, that dream to be in a major motion picture such as this Disney remake. And now, because Peter Dinklage uh, said what he said last year, now it's taken away. And it's taken away because of, quote unquote, progression and all that. And that's, it's not, it's not really, it's not right. Because these are roles made for actors of my stature. Roles what? that aren't ever really given. I can't go out for the Harrison Ford or the George Clooney roles because that's not for me. These dwarf roles are for people of my stature. Right. And now it's taken away. It, it, I don't feel that's right. And not only that, but now think about the additional stunt actors or body doubles or that. Now you're talking multiple actors right. of my stature that don't get these major roles. And why? What's the real, what's the reasoning? Because we're supposed to be progressive and we're supposed to just not view them as that. Well, you know, the these irony. Are heroes. The All irony. of these dwarves, yeah. all of the... I was all say of the, these dwarves took care of Snow White. Right. They all had characteristics, separate characteristics. They weren't these cave-dwelling monsters that, 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 that people speak of. It's, it's, they all had seven different characteristics mm. for seven different actors that, from my community. And I don't, I don't feel it's right that they got taken, I taken away from us. I completely and utterly agree with you. And well said. I mean, this is why people get so upset with Hollywood today and especially woke Hollywood because they love to make decisions for everyone else and they love to tell us what is appropriate and what is not appropriate. What we should be offended by and what we should be cheering on and supporting. And how about we just 
put things out there and let people make their own decisions. How about that? How about we not take one actor and their opinion and have it be a representation for an entire group of people? How about we not do that? Because that actually is the opposite of being woke. But yet here you are doing it to little people slash dwarves. And what Dylan said makes perfect sense as well, right? Like we know in reality, in Hollywood, that little people are not getting roles that are written for average sized people. They're just not. In fact, the only person that I can think of who's a little person who played the role of an average sized person or whose role wasn't based on their height was Peter Dinklage in Game of Thrones, which by the way, his character, full disclaimer, is one of my favorites, which is why my husky is named Tyrion. So I love Peter Dinklage and I love his portrayal of Tyrion on the show, but I do disagree with his perspective here because he's not thinking about the bigger picture. He's not thinking about the other little people who need jobs who now are not gonna have jobs because Hollywood is going to be too afraid to hire little people in roles that were made for little people in fear of being criticized. I mean, the name is in the title, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It don't get much clearer than that, but yet Hollywood is so afraid, they're tippy-toeing, that now they are hiring average-sized people for dwarf parts and changing the entire story just to avoid possibly being offensive. And we think of it this way. Let's say there was a story that involved a majority black cast, right? And Hollywood was like, you know what? We don't want to stereotype black people. We don't want to pigeonhole black people in this one role because these characters may be stereotypical. So let's hire an all white cast to play these traditionally black roles for this cartoon made live action. How fast do you think that film would be criticized and destroyed by wokeness? Well, little people are asking the same question. Why can't their roles be played by little people. But let's ask the Wokey in this conversation. Wokey, what do you think? Let me bring, jo me bring James back in. So James Piers Morgan is agreeing with you, I think you need to be concerned. I'll say that for the... So you're telling the dwarf out to what he should but feel? Having literally, hang on. And having sure, what having literally say. just lectured me about say. speaking for someone in the dwarf community, Warwick Davis, you now accuse a dwarf actor. I'm not. No, it's not what I said. I said that if anyone, if you're siding with anyone, you've got to worry. Right. What I'd like to say, actually, is that I kind of mostly agree with what you're no, saying. No, no, and now you're... It's, Sir, that's just taking a pot shot there. No, by saying, I, it, oh, yeah, it is Pierce absolutely Morgan taking a pot shot. Me. But I do agree with what you're saying. I completely agree with your point of view, and I think that's really important. But I, I can only speak from my experience. And as a gay man, I know that growing up, I witnessed gay people being villains in movies when I was... Seven seen. dwarves are villains. And that I think stereotypes are really important to What stereotypes do you think and they actually, represent? in the universe of Snow White, wouldn't it be better I don't feel, if dwarves I don't feel are... This, is, this I, isn't a part of this, about the stereotype. Right. This is about roles that were, that were made for people such a, of my stature that don't have the chance to go out for other roles normally. But you, James so Bond, why you, you taking... want to stop Dylan I getting not... a role in a Hollywood Piers, film. I am not going to get into an attack on a dwarf. You don't want a dwarf actor to no, land a role I do, playing actually. a dwarf part. Listen, a why? dwarf can play a dwarf part, but I think it's important to change narratives that don't fit in today's society. And really, it Which might is be that better. narrative? It might be better What's the, if dwarves sir, just exist sir, in normal me. roles everywhere What's, because they do exist. What was in so bad life. about the way dwarves were depicted in Snow White? Have I missed something? Well, that, listen, I'm not that's, here to talk that's about. What I, that's what I'm kind of wondering. Well, 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 I don't I'm represent telling. Disney, but I'm just saying I think I see their point of view. What's their point of view? What was so bad about the depiction of the dwarves? Why are you What's so upset about a movie changing with the time? Alex, I'll take what is deflection for 5,000? Are you serious right now? Like he literally is arguing the point that it's okay for dwarves to play dwarf parts, but they should want more for themselves. Now, again, this is somebody who started the conversation by telling Pierce that he did not have a right to be offended for another group of people. But yet here he is, somebody who is not a part of the dwarf community, speaking for the dwarf community and telling them what they should be aspiring to act in as artists. That's your opinion. Thank you for your opinion. They don't care. Your opinion is not valid in this conversation, Mr. Wokey. Yet you're talking out of both sides of your mouth because in one hand he's saying dwarves shouldn't be playing dwarf parts because it's too stereotypical. But then he also says, Dylan, I completely agree with you. Dwarves should be playing the parts in Snow White. But then also says, I agree with Disney. So exactly where do you stand on this? Because you're so afraid to offend anyone that you literally are just agreeing with everyone and talking out of your behind. And I'm sorry, I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're straight. Enough with this virtue signaling projection garbage. Oh, well, I as a gay man, when I, who cares? Who 
cares? This isn't about you. And if you look at these statistics, there are far more gay actors and actresses who get roles who play parts of all different perspectives, whereas dwarves hardly get any roles to begin with. And now they can't even get roles in parts that were written for them. There is real news we could be great. discussing. No, but this is real news if you're a dwarf actor who are now out of work because of virtue signaling idiots. But you're just who using think that this... everything has to be rewritten you are just to be inclusive Dylan as a cheap when in shot. fact it's not inclusive at all. No, you're using Dylan as a cheap shot to attack a wokey. That's what's I don't happening. think Dylan feels I'm using him as a cheap shot. And what I would say about the wokey thing is this. I have spent the last year listening to people tell me only gay actors should play gay parts. Only Welsh actors, and Michael Sheen, should play Welsh characters. And so on and so on and so on. And nuance. But the moment we have dwarf roles, which are the most famous dwarf roles in Hollywood history, then the only people apparently who can't play them are dwarf it actors. Dwarf and roles. I see there it's a cartoon, stinking so me, hypocrisy. It has not changed. It was a cartoon. Those weren't actually dwarfs in the movie. They were drawn, OK? So firstly... They were drawn as absolute, dwarfs. No, that is... But it's a story about dwarves. dwarves. Well, they it's shouldn't be called that. They dwarves. should be called... They shouldn't be called dwarves. No, they should be called people with dwarfism. They shouldn't be called... What's wrong with being called dwarves? They shouldn't be called dwarves. Nothing, but that's not the correct That's the story. <laughs> They shouldn't be called dwarves. What the hell should they be called? Creatures? Is that better? They are dwarves. And by the way, the word dwarf is not an offensive term. Little people call themselves dwarves. There actually is a whole show called Little Woman. And in that show, everybody calls themselves a dwarf. Minnie had the audacity to call me out for not being a little person. But I'm going to find out what type of dwarfism I have for the sake of my son, D2. Is, um, does she have the same dwarfism as son? Or is it? It's actually, yeah, it's the same. It always is the same. He's super knowledgeable about all different types of dwarfism. But yet you have this idiot <laughs> this wokey idiot literally sitting here saying we shouldn't be calling them dwarves the name should be snow white and people with dwarfism this is embarrassing i am so embarrassed for this guy right now and he is just digging a hole deeper for himself every time he speaks if i were him i would just sit there and just nod because nothing that you're saying makes any sense and all you're doing is making their point more valid than your own. See, this is what happens, folks, when you drink the woke Kool-Aid and you can't stop. You end up spinning in circles, not knowing what the heck you're trying to say, not making any sense, and just using buzzwords for the left. Apparently, Dylan, you're not allowed to call yourself dwarves, apparently. I would love to hear, what should I call myself, sir? I think you should call yourself whatever you feel comfortable with, but as a person... He calls himself a dwarf. A dwarf. Well, that's, that's great, a dwarf. Though. Good yeah. for you. I'm happy to... So, that's... so now, but now, sir, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me pause that. So we, it, it shouldn't be called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It Listen, just be I do not want to get cancelled so because saying... I think your point of view is more important than mine right now. But what I'm annoyed about is Piers trying to take a cheap shot at someone that believes in society moving forward. Yeah, I'm actually because really, if I'm actually to... exposing the hypocrisy it's of not... the woke mentality of only gay people can play gay parts, only trans actors can play trans parts, and so I... on and so on and so on. I think we will right get to, the to point, a place where right everyone to the point, can play Snow every White role. and the Seven Dwarfs has to be cancelled because you're not allowed to have dwarf You faces. should be happy, Piers, because it means that now you can play your dream role of Grumpy. I would love to play Grumpy. I loved all the uh, dwarves in that movie. They were great. You, Let sorry, me ask now you, you're guys, being a hypocrite. Guys, You'd love to play Grumpy, but no, you're no, taking no, no, a role no. away from a dwarf The issue actor. at hand... No, I would play a fully grown Grump by, quite by, happily. By taking away a role from a Let dwarf. me ask you, Dylan, uh, about the Hugh Grant playing an Oompa Loompa, because, again, it seems to me... Oh, we've got a clip of him playing an Oompa Loompa. Let's have a look at this. So you're the funny little man who's been following. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An Oompa what now? Allow me to refresh your memory. Oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Now we're not only using CGI and spending extra money and, and funding for these movies when we could just cast dwarves in that role. Mm. Whether it be one dwarf or multiple, that, like they have been in the past, now you're taking at least one role away mm. or multiple roles away for Oompa Loompa characters, that that's what they were in the past. And and why, again, I go back to my, my, my stance on these roles, roles in Hollywood in general, are very hard for people of my community to yeah. get besides the elf and the leprechaun and this and that. So why are they being taken from my community? That's my issue here. Well, it's you know why? You know why, Dylan? Stereotypes you know why? Because people like James here, they think it's progressive and inclusive. No, when see, in fact, it's regressive. That, that's not my word. It's that's regressive it. and exclusive. Hey, you know what, Dylan? The movie, one of the great movies of all time, is called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. 
if if dwarf actors in Hollywood are not picked to play those roles, I don't know what roles you're supposed to be playing. It's it's unbelievably I have, uh, patronizing that they've done this under the be... banner of so-called progression. Well, let's just go back to the 1930s, Piers. I think you'd be happy you there. Know what, blackface would exist still. No, that, no, sir, no, it's not blackface. About, James, it's not James, blackface. James, and what you're now doing, happy. because you know you've lost, just being, you know you've lost the lost, argument. No, there's no argument. And you know here. you've been embarrassed you're, by James, the argument. Not embarrassed. Yes, that's exactly what Pierce is saying. Let's go back to the 1930s and bring back blackface. I mean, do you see how... <laughs> Do you see how ridiculous these woke arguments are? When they have nothing, they regress back to talking points that have nothing to do with the conversation. Nothing to do with the conversation. But according to this person, if we agree that dwarves should be playing dwarf parts for characters that were written in the 1930s, then that also means that we are okay with blackface. And let's throw in Jim Crow as well. Why not? I mean... <laughs> But again, when you have no argument, you run to this. It's embarrassing. Sir, you have embarrassed yourself. You have destroyed your own argument. In fact, just sleep in a coffin because you were destroyed. <laughs> you were bodied in this debate, okay? You are no longer alive. You have flatlined. Wow. And it's sad because this perspective is not just his perspective. This stupid perspective is running rampant right now all throughout the Western world and it's exactly why i continue to make the videos that i make and i fight against this garbage because i need people like you to know that <laughs> sane people exist hi i'm sane i'm not like that <laughs> lord help us but yeah my projection is that snow brown and the diversity hires is going to be a flop because nobody wants to watch a nostalgic film that has nothing to do with the original film you might as well just call it something else and move on with your life. Anyway, guys, that is all for today. If you enjoy my content, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this topic and what you think of James' performance. Did he win this debate or was he destroyed? I vote for destroyed. <laughs> I'm also available on TikTok and on Instagram under Curly Boy Chuck. Follow me there so we can also connect. I'm also gonna have a PayPal link as well as a Cash App link in my description. All money will go back into this channel. So if you guys wanna support your boy, definitely would be greatly appreciated. Until next time. Peace.